Okay, this is the second part of the Visualize tutorial from Civil 3D to 3D Studio Max. Alright, so we've imported our, our geometry successfully, and now we need to find a blank material slot in order to bring in the bitmap that we're going to use to grow the particles. So I'm looking for a blank slot. Now I'm going to ex uh, expand the, uh, the maps channels and look for the diffuse map and then assign the bitmap I'm going to use to grow the particles. Hit the bitmap then expand to see which one uh, will work best. We're going to use the black background with the red pixels. There we go. Plan 2. Plan 4, excuse me. Open. And let's change the way it's displayed by looking at it in a cube. Alright, now there's a couple of ways in which we can apply the material. Select the object and then use the uh, assign material to selection or we can use a drag and drop. You have two options there. There are multiple options, that's just two. Now we have to deal with the um, how to appropriately size the texture map to our geometry. I have already um, have an example that's already been done. I'm going to delete it and now go through the process. So we want to add a modifier which is UVW map and then highlight the gizmo using the move tool I am going to move the gizmo so that you can see that it is the same dimension and proportion as the piece of geometry. Just in case, you can hit fit and it'll go back to that overall uh, size of the geometry. And then we can now also test to see whether or not um, that UVW map assignment is correct. So change the view from standard to material with maps, shaded material with maps. And you can see that the overall background is black and that the red isn't visible. We'll go back to the... Now, why are we doing this? We're doing this so that we can use the proposed geometry, can receive the material and the UVW map directions from the larger object. So, select your proposed geometry, the proposed ground. Notice I have also, it has an existing, I can show you here, you see the gizmo in orange that surrounds the perimeter? That's what we want to achieve. So in order to do that, you need to select the proposed geometry, add a UVW map. Notice that the gizmo is sized to the overall extents of the, here we go, you can see there it's smaller than our overall geometry. So we're going to use this technique called acquire and we're going to acquire the perfect mapping coordinates that we did for the proposed for the existing ground now for the opposed so you can see now that it the proposed geometry has the mapping coordinates of the existing ground that's the hardest part let's repeat it just in case acquire relative good we can proof of concept by looking at the shaded material with maps up oh, there's no material assigned to the geometry, so we'll drag and drop. And now you see that the proposed geometry has the appropriate mapping and mapping coordinates based upon our red pixels, or to receive our red pixels. Excellent. File save. So now the hard part is now growing the pixels with particles. So a couple of steps here. First, we need to bring in the geometry that we're going to grow. So I've made a series, so we're going to file, import, and there's a series of OBJ files in the course directory. I'm picking a random one. Notice that the flip ZY axis is active. Insert that. Don't worry about the material at this time. Notice it comes in at the origin. So I'm going to move this from the origin to a discrete location in my model. Remember, I uh, was encouraging you to look at using layers. I'll zoom in. There's my fluffy plant. And now I'm going to create particle, particle flow source. Drag, click and drag to make the flow source. Notice now that we have a whole series of objects that have been created so to support the particle flow. Hitting, F, hitting 6, I get the particle viewer. And now we're going to grow, replace birth with birth texture, which means the texture map will grow the particles. So, initialize parameters. Okay, 
tried to do this twice. <laughs> All right, good. So let's look here. We need the object that's going to emit the particles. We want to make sure that only the red pixels grow. It's not animated, so the start and stop are at zero. And let's start with about 500 particles. Proof of concept first. All right, so I'll resize. And now we're going to select the geometry that will grow the particles. So add, and now highlight the proposed geometry, the proposed grading. There we go. Notice it shows up over here. Make sure, double check, the red is there. All right, no more changes. Hard part, step two, finished. Now, we don't need it to change the position. We don't need it to rotate or move. But rotate, we do want to make sure it's at world space because plants do have an orientation. And now we need to alter the shape with a shape instance, right? Because the shape that we're going to grow as the particles is going to be that plant. So replace shape with shape instance. Now select that plant. There you go. It shows up there, see, as the particle geometry type. Perfect. Try to ignore the painters next door. Initialize parameters, and now you see that we've grown 500 tick marks that at render time will show up as 500 of our fluffy plants. I'm going to change the image size here to something relatively small. Now, we don't need to overwrite anything. That's me leaving something left over. And so we will render it real small here. Proof of concept. All right, good. So you notice here that our plants are really quite large. So we will um, change the scale or the size of the uh, shape instance uh, in the shape instance portion of the particle viewer. And then we'll render it again. Here it's in plan view, which was really not what I intended, intended, but you can see that the gray plants have grown on the red, and they're looking a little bit smaller than they were before. Okay, very good. I think I might make them even a little smaller. They're about 40% now, and I'll change the variation to somewhere around 80% so that we can, not all the plants will look exactly the same. And then I'll re, and, and then I increased, I'm going to increase now the number of particles from 500. I go to 10,000. I recommend, recommend that you find something somewhere in, in between. And just do this incrementally until you have the correct amount of particles growing on the surface. All right, good luck.